Hi everyone, uh, this is Pietro, the CEO of MagiPath. I want to show you something extremely exciting um, that we just uh, released into our app, which is the Editor V2. So, as you know, with MagiPath, you can not only uh, create things with AI and edit them with AI, but you can also edit them manually. So we've done a ton of work at actually completely imagine the editor so that what you get here is as close as possible to an editing experience you would feel in Figma, but of course with the added value that here everything is AI generated, you can generate more and you can also edit with AI. So what I have here is actually uh, a file, a pro sorry, a design that I generated via images. So just to show you, it was this image, which I literally just pop into Magic Path, say, hey, make this, and it made it, which is pretty awesome, right? So what we did here, so as you know, when you come here, you go into the editor. So now you're going to see way more options. So for instance, say I select this, this section. So you, there's a, a bunch of new things you can do here. So you have things like uh, fit to content, fit to container, uh, or you can also just like, you know, specify the, the size that you want, which is super helpful. For this case, I'll just leave it into um, fit to fill. You can also, of course, edit the high in the same way. But most importantly, we completely reinvented uh, the flex option. So you can see here now this element has no flex. You have to imagine flex as sort of like the auto layout inside of Figma, right? So we're going to do now, we're going to select this. And so you can see the whole sort of like going into this direction, right? And that's because the flex direction is actually setting as horizontal. If I send it to vertical, it would look at like this again, right? So, but what happened here? Well, because all these things are sort of uh, stuck horizontally, you can also clip them, right? You can wrap to the content, which is basically the equivalent of a Figma auto layout. Now, once you have that kind of control, though, you can change a lot of things, like you can change the gap. And it's as simply as just like moving around your, your keys inside this input. You can, you know, change the... Uh, horizontal padding in this case, or the vertical padding. And you can also just very quickly sort of adjust the element based on this visual indicator that you have here. So you can actually kind of see how things uh, move around and whatnot. The other things is that we have completely made uh, the uh, uh, background grading experience. And so actually here now you can right away select the percentage you want for a specific, uh, specific background. So let's say, you know, I want to change this to gray. You can do that. Uh, you can also, of course, change from classes as we have before. But most importantly, now we also completely design the gradient experience. So if I go into gradients, now I have gradients here. I can put up to 10 different colors here. And not only I can do that, I can also just like, you know, uh, change the direction of the gradient. Super, super cool. So you can see here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove some of the gradient I just created, and I'm going to do something that it's like a little more gentle, right? So I'm going to go to from white to a light gray, right? And so you can see that just like right away we created something that it's very really pretty, right? So the other thing, now you can actually add borders for each side. So on default, uh, if no border is detected into the eye creation, uh, you can just like add a border there, but you can also just specify, maybe I just want a border on top or just border on the bottom. And of course, you can also add more border as you want. So here in this case, now I have bottom, top, left, uh, or you can also just go none. And of course, if you select um, the border again, it would just select all. So actually what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create just a tiny little border here, right? The other thing we did, and I'm going to zoom in so you can actually see this better, is we actually redone also the uh, border radius. So now you can, of course, change the border radius. You can see here it's changing. Or you can also change it by size. So maybe what if I want this to be 30, and I want also this to be 30, but then maybe I want this to be 0, right? The other thing, too, is we, that we did was we actually now allow you to, um, to actually add drop shadows as many as you want. Um, actually, sorry, I, we cap it to five for drop shadow and five for inner shadow because, you know, after five, you don't really need much. But you can see here what I'm going to do. I'm going to increase the, I'm going to increase the, uh, uh, the opacity here. 
and then I'm also going to put a little more um, like sort of like blur section here just to give you an idea how to use it right and then you can also like remove basically any shadow you create same goes for the inner shadow where now if you want I can also just add like a gentle inner shadow to this to kind of give it more of a bossy effect basically and once you're happy with your changes let me see if I uh, maybe uh, miss any other things. Of course, same changes goes for uh, file, for text. So now you can also uh, change the line eye. You can quickly move the, the text size as you want. Uh, we also completely designed this experience. So now it's actually uh, much nicer to type the text that you want. Um, and of course, the same changes I show you for colors in terms of like better color and the ability to quickly change the opacity. Those, of course, also apply to text. So this is the new uh, Magic Path editor. Of course, once you're happy with your edit, all you do is saving. Um, yeah, so this is the experience. I'm really excited to see what you guys create with this. And uh, yeah, now you basically have way more flexibility when it comes to actually the things that you create, which is extremely exciting for us. Thank you.